a patient of macular hole. And this I operated somewhere in 2015, a very high, Q, uh, high IQ patient, uh, recovered with 6'6 vision from finger count and I was also amazed. Uh, after one year, he started complaining of blurring of vision. Although the vision was 6'6 six, six part, uh, we did all the investigation why is this patient is complaining of blurring of vision. Uh, and what we uh, saw, we did all the investigation. You can see this GCC layer here. This is on 2017. You can see this red uh, area here. There is a loss of GCC. 2018, it has increased. So you must ha not have seen uh, such a long follow-up. And this patient is still following till 2022. And this GCC layer damage has increased over a period of time. Now, I'll uh, visual field defects, there are slight visual field defects here. You can see uh, there are two uh, black dots here. Uh, another patient here uh, operated for macular hole here. Initially in 2018, you can uh, see type 1 closure. 2018, there's no GCC loss. But the moment you come here in 2019, you can see a ganglion cell loss here, okay? This is sequential pictures. At, I'm not talking about short-term gains. I'm talking about long-term gains. This is another patient of macular hole, type 1 closure. And you can see the huge red area here, a huge area of ganglion cell loss. Now, this is one of the patient of vit vitreo macular traction. We have not peeled internal limiting membrane. And you can see 2018 and 2019 picture, not peeling ILM, there is no loss in ganglion cell. So this confirms my hypothesis. Yes, you don't have to peel ILM. Now, what we, why, what is ILM? ILM is basically a basement membrane of molar or glial cells. Its removal may affect molar or glial cell function and surrounding uh, neural tissue. This is one of the articles published in November to 2021. And 47 patients were taken into this study. Uh, 17 patients uh, 17 patient developed post-operatively uh, visual field de defect, indicating a significant association between island peeling and visual field defect. The observer also observed thinning of the ganglion cell layer, what I am telling you, what I have ob observed also and this paper also shows. Thinning of ganglion cell layers temporal to the fovea and retinal nerve fiber layer in patients with ILM peeling, both finding may prompt surgeons to cons reconsider performing ILM peels for idiopathic epiretinal membrane. Now this is one of the meta-analysis that is published in 2021. The meta-analysis what you were talking about recurrence was 2017. Okay, this is 2021 with the same author. The study showed that ILM peeling did not significantly improve post-operative visual outcome or decrease recurrence, but results in thicker macular thickness, indicating that it is inessential for idiopathic epiretinal membrane for the ILM to be peeled in this kind of situation. So I conclude ILM peeling should not be done in cases of idiopathic epiretinal membrane. <coughs> Thank you for the talk, sir. Sir, just I had a question uh, for you. Uh, uh, as you just uh, pointed out that it is not necessary to peel the ILM, it's more of traumatic. Uh, do you usually check after you have peeled it? With, do you stain it and confirm whether the ILM is still intact, sir? No. That, uh, see, many a situations, uh, if I feel the ILM has not come in total uh, okay. and the ERM has not come in total, mm. I go ahead and stain either with a trepan blue or with an BVG dye and I can find the remnants and then I peel those. Okay. So in case, sir, if you have to, uh, if you have to follow your approach, how do we ensure that the ILM stays? See, it's, uh, th there are certain situations uh, where ILM and the epiretinal membrane mm -hmm. is densely adherent. In those situations, you are not able to uh, get an edge and you have to create an edge in the ILM. But if you have a choice, ki you don't have to uh, You uh, see, it, there is a choice between ERM and to peel ILM. If your uh, ERM has come in total, then don't go ahead don't and go do an it. ILM okay. peeling. You are talking it, sir? Sir, again, I would like to say that according to my first slide, 
I said that we are talking about only idiopathic ERM. These were idiopathic. You are comparing apples with oranges. No, no. Uh, <laughs> you showed <Macular> us <laughs> all macular holes. No, the macular holes. Uh, see, we have to show patients with macular holes because we are doing mandatory ILM peeling in those kind of patients. See, mandatory peeling in macular holes is causing visual field defects. So that is what is being shown here. Uh, when you are doing it in ERM, it is not mandatory to remove the ILM always. So, so yeah. when we have moth-eaten ILMs and when the ILM is going to come with the ERMs, so I would say that you remove the rest of the ILM and make it a clean surgery. Yeah, that's, that's true.